there's all kinds of just special situations that we run into when we're graphing lines. Okay, so here's the first one. What if the fraction is negative? What if it looks like this? Okay, um, in that case, what we do for right now, there's, there's actually some special cases where we don't do this, but for right now, we're just going to take that negative and we're going to attach it to the rise. Okay, this is a negative number, which means, look, this is division, right? We know this. It means it's a negative divided by a positive. So I'm going to attach this is, I'm going to make this into a negative 3 divided by positive 4. So this is my rise over run. So when I graph this, I'll start at my y-intercept, always, always, always. And then I'll go down 3, because it's negative, right? I'm going to go down 3, right 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's my line. Okay, here, again, I'm going to start at 3. The fact that the fraction is negative doesn't impact my y-intercept at all. This is negative 1 over 2. Look, I'm attaching the negative to the top. I'm attaching the negative to the top. So now my rise is negative 1, so I'm going to go down 1, and my run is 2, right 2. 